welcome back to chemistry concept this is pankaj singh and now we will discuss hund's rule of maximum multiplicity and this rule states it's a simple statement that pairing of electrons in the orbitals belonging to the same subshell does not take place until each orbital belonging to the subshell has got one electron each that is it is singly occupied simply what does it mean that if i have three p orbitals okay then if i want to fill electrons let's say i have uh uh we can say four electrons in the orbitals okay then what i have to do let's say there are two way to fill these orbitals okay and the first one is what i do 1 2 3 4 and the second one is first of all all the three orbitals would be singly occupied 1 2 3 and then it would be repeated fourth so the first method is in correct as per hund's rule of maximum multiplicity the allowed one is second one that means first of all all the three orbitals or each of the three orbitals will get one electron each and then only if electrons are left then the pairing will start again if i do it like this way example once again that the first case is okay but in the second case what has been done we had three electrons okay and they have done one two and the pairing has been started while one of the orbitals is empty so this is not a correct way i hope the simple rule was clear to you stay tuned for more videos of organic inorganic and physical